Hi everybody, welcome to Live Blogger. In this video, I'll show you how to create this hover effect where when you hover over any of these grayscale images, it turns to a colorful image. We can see the same effect over here as well. And we also have this title being displayed over here. Now we're going to do this using a simple CSS property and this is going to be a simple and short video. So let's get started. Alright, so here I have opened up a folder in VS Code and uh, I have this folder called images inside that. And in the images folder we have two images which we are going to use in this uh, design. So let's start by creating an index.html file. And we'll also create a CSS file. Let's start with the index.html file and in VS Code you have this shortcut where you can just type exclamation and press tab and you'll have this basic HTML5 code. And let's also link our CSS file over here. So I'll just type link and press tab. And in the href, I'll just type style.css. And in the body, let's create a division and we'll give the class of image container. And in that we will have a division with the class of image for each of the images. And in the image division, we will have an image and the title. So I'll just type IMG. And in the SRC, I'll just type images slash uh, the first image. And let's also add a title over here. So I'll just create a division with a class of title. And here I'll just type title number one. And I'll just copy this image division from here and I'll just paste it one more time for the second image. And here in the SRC, I'll just type two.jpg. And here we'll just type title number two. All right now, let's open this in our browser. So I have this extension called live server installed on VS Code. And once you install the extension, you can just right click over here in the HTML and click on open with live server and here we can see our design is being displayed over here in the browser all right now let's go to our style.css file and let's start styling our page first of all let's target the image container so i'll just type image container and uh, i'll just give it a width of let's say 700 pixels and uh, let's set the display to grid and we will have two columns so i'll just type grid template columns and here I'll just type 1fr and 1fr. So this will have two columns with the same width. Now here you can see that the height and the width of the image itself is a lot higher. So let's change the height and the width of the IMG tag to 100% of the parent. So I'll just type image container IMG and I'll just type width equals 100% and height equals 100%. And now you can see that the image is stretched a little bit. So for that you can use a property called object fit and we'll set it to cover. And now we can see it looks all right. And let's also add a gap over here. So here in the image container, I'll just type gap and I'll just set it to 16 pixels. And let's bring it to the center. So I'll just type margin and for top and bottom, we'll just have a margin of 24 pixels. And for left and right, we'll just type auto. And now we can see that it is in the center. Right now let's style the image division. So here we can see we have this division with the class of image and in that we have the image. So let's type image container image and we'll set the border radius to 8 pixels and this should give us rounded corners but since we have the IMG tag inside the image and it doesn't have the border radius so it's not being displayed over here. So for that you have to set the overflow to hidden in the image class and now we can see we have rounded corners now let's style the title and we want to position the title relative to the image division. So here in the image division, I'll just type position and we'll set it to relative. And now let's target the title. So I'll just type image container and uh, here I'll just type image title and let's set the position to absolute and we'll set the bottom position to zero. And now we can see the title is being displayed over here. Let's also add some padding. So I'll just type padding of 12 pixels top and bottom and 32 pixels left and right. And we'll set the background color to an RGBA value because we need to have an opacity. So I'll just type 0, 0, 0 and for the opacity I'll just type 0 0.9. And we'll set the color of the text to white and we'll set the font family to Roboto. And let's set the left position to zero and the right position to zero so that we will have 100% width. Now we don't want to display this title by default. 
we want to display it when we hover over this image so by default we will set the bottom to some negative value so I'll just type negative and I just calculated it to negative 44 pixels and let's write the code for the hover so I'll just type image container image colon hover and here I'll just type title and we'll set the bottom value to 0 and we'll also add a transition so that we will have smooth animations I'll just type all to 500 milliseconds and now when we hover over this we can see that the title is being displayed now the last thing we need to do is add the grayscale effect so let's target the image so here we have already added some styles for the image so here for the image I'll just type filter and we have a lot of options over here so let's select grayscale now the highest value over here is 1 and the lowest value is 0 so now we can see that the image is in grayscale now let's add the hover effect so I'll just type image container and image colon hover and I'll just type image over here and we'll set the filter to grayscale and we'll set the value to 0 and let's also add a transition for smooth animation and now let's hover over this image and now we can see that the image is turning to a colorful image and when we go outside the image it turns back to grayscale so that's how you can create a grayscale hover effect for your images now in filter you have a lot of different options so for example let's add an option called blur and let's set the value to let's say 3 pixels and now we can see that by default the image is blurred and here in the hover I'll just type blur and we'll set it back to 0 and now let's hover over this image and uh, this is how it looks so you can go ahead and play around with all the other filters in CSS now if you want to check out all the other options you can just type filter and then type colon and you'll have all these suggestions you can go ahead and select any of these all right so that's basically it for this video if you have any doubts you can ask in the comments below and if you like this video please click on the like button and subscribe to this channel to get the latest video updates thanks a lot for watching have a nice day